Hey everyone. So one of the tips that I have over in the membership area in my editing courses over and over again is dodging and burning. A lot of times we can add drama and intrigue to images just by brightening some areas and darkening some areas. This is a quick way to get started with Dodge and Burn if you're not very familiar with the idiosyncrasies of it in different programs. Uh, this is done in Lightroom and it's really simple. The first thing you want to do is make sure you start with an image that is quite uh, lower in exposure. So when we look at this one, we have uh, some dark areas. The, the background is black, of course, and there's quite a bit of space here at the upper histogram at the far, far right. And, there, and the reason we want that is because we want to have some room to increase the brightness in areas and possibly darken other areas. And when we zoom in on this image, uh, it has a bit of a painterly effect from uh, Topaz Studio, uh, which is something I love. And there's a full class over that again in the membership area. Uh, but if we want to enhance things, make it look a little bit more dramatic and painterly, here's a super simple thing to do. You want to grab your brush tool and then zero it out. This is Lightroom Classic. If you're in the Lightroom that's the online version. Uh, you can't double click on effect to reset everything. You'll just have to go through the different sliders and reset, but they do have a brush tool over there and you can do that over there. You just have to do it a little bit differently. But anyway, what you would like to do to, to create this look is we're going to add both whites and blacks to the same brush. So the, how much you go with each one is going to be dependent on your image and you might have to use multiple brushes if you have places where the what you dialed in doesn't work. So to start I'm just going to do a little bit of blacks and quite a bit of whites and then I'm just going to start painting and if I zoom in here you can kind of see what happens. Let's zoom in a little more and you're going to notice when it when it starts let's make it a little bit brighter uh, that the whites pop and then the darker areas stay dark because we're adding blacks to it okay now that one is a little bit too dark so i'm going to bring the blacks back a little bit uh, but i can go through here and you can see how it just makes light areas pop and darker areas a little darker you can also add highlights which starts to amp it up a combination of highlights and whites usually works pretty well. I could also deepen the shadows. Uh, and you start to dial in these, these four things, the brighter ones and the darker ones. Highlights and whites are the brighter ones and shadows and blacks are the darker ones. But I think you can see on this leaf really well what it does. You see how it brightens the bright and darkens the dark. And that's essentially what dodge and burn is. It's brightening the bright areas and darkening the dark areas. And so being able to do that at one time is really helpful and it adds a nice painterly effect already even if you don't have a painterly effect on here on its own see how that brightened up the top of that leaf and darkened the bottom of the leaf it just makes it feel really intentional and dramatic and this can be done on just about anything not just nature pictures this can work on clothing anything that you want to add a little bit of drama to. Uh, you want to be careful though if you start to get things that are too bright like right here that's mm, eh, it's not really blown but it may be a bit too bright so if that's the case then you can just er delete that part or erase it with the erase brush or close out and open it again and start a new pin where maybe you bring the whites back a little bit you know and you do it as a separate adjustment. Let me see. I want I want this to be brighter, so I'm going to open it again, crank up the whites quite a bit, and maybe the highlights a little bit more, and then go in here and give it that drama. Maybe a little less blacks because it's so dark already. You see how you can amend things that really made that pop. Really fun. Oops, that see now that's too bright. So I'm going to stop that brush stroke right there and then close out and open it again and then maybe bring the highlights or the whites down a little bit and tackle this and add the highlights back in just a hair not quite so much so you can really add a lot of drama so that's before and this is after before and after it just makes it pop in areas and adds more three-dimensional a more three-dimensional dimensional feel 
like that. Super simple. And it's all with one brush. All right. Thanks, guys.